You are on the program, the SME Clinic, with your host, Coach Alex Baba. The SME Clinic is a radio and TV show designed to expose the small and medium entrepreneur to all the tools, information, and hands-on experience needed to help them grow a great and profitable business. The SME Clinic is a business coaching program that provides business tips, answers to business-related questions, relevant information, and solutions to common business challenges. This then assists them to close the knowledge gaps, expand opportunities, know what to do, and have the right mindset to engage the business. In this edition, we're looking at the formula for change under the Did You Know segments. And finally, our main teaching today is on the five ways to increase your business profits. We'll go on a short break. You can follow us on our social media handles as displayed on the screen. Thanks for staying with us so far on the SME Clinic. I'm still your host. Coach Alex Baba. In this segment, we will be looking at a tip that will help you to get more people to patronize you. It's always an issue, you know. Um, you have good products, you have good services, but somehow uh, 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 the traffic to your to your uh, business place is is not uh, is not high. Not many people are patronizing you. And uh, I have discovered from my coaching experience and in consulting for several clients that it's uh, what many of us do at the best is winking in the dark. You have good things people need, the people have the money to pay for those services, but somehow there's no connection. You're not able to convince them that you have what they will need. In this segment, I'm going to be sharing with you an advert principle called the AIDA principle. We often miss opportunities to introduce our businesses and what we do to people we meet randomly on a daily basis. Many of our flyers, our brochures, our websites, even our call cards do not convert prospects into customers because they are not intentionally designed. Explaining properly what we do improves our conversion rates. By conversion rate, we are talking about how many people who know about what you do are able to patronize you? Today we'll be looking at this simple but profound principle called AIDA to help us articulate what you, we do and how to improve our conversion rate in 60 seconds. So that wherever you are in, 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 in a religious setting, in the marketplace, you meet people randomly on the way, you share transportation with them, in 60 seconds, you're able to position your business to them and they understand what you do and how they need your products and services. And then a strong call to action so that they come in and get that. So AIDA is, is an acronym. So let's look at that. The first is A. A talks about attention. And by attention, a header or an opening that grabs the listener's attention. And you can do that in three ways. Number one, through questions. For example, you know, um, I'm, I'm a, a, a nutritionist. I do something about diets, you know, for example. I can ask a question, how would you like to fire your doctor? You know, it's something that, what do you mean? It grabs your attention. Or you could use numbers. You know, seven ways to live in, you know, healthy. Many people like numbers. Three steps to this, five steps to this, seven... 10 steps, people like that. Or it could be a statement, long life is your heritage. I say, wow, that's, that's, that's interesting. You know, so the A is to grab the attention. The I is interest. Everybody that listens to you in a conversation in life wants to know how he will benefit from what you are saying. How his interest is covered. Is there anything for the boys? What is a need for me? You know, so you're, you have to proposition what you do in the context of what will make your listener generate interest in what you are offering. He has to see what will benefit him in what you are saying. And that way you have to make a, you know, then you make a specific offer 
always have a specific offer. Don't say we sell shoes, we sell uh, food supplements, we sell this. Make a specific offer. Out of five, six products that you have, take one or two products and target it towards the person, towards your audience, the person that is listening to you. You know, so uh, you, you, you can um, ask questions like, how would you like to know the secret to living healthy and happy without having to spend so much? That grabs the person's attention. Oh, there's a, a way I can do this and I don't have to spend so much. Then the next is the desire. D is desire. How will what you are offering address their point of pain? A lot of times, you know, um, people are frustrated by things around them. Oh, I have gone from hospital to hospital, from doctor to doctor. I have uh, paid for this, paid for that, and I am not seeing any improvement. So spending money, spending time is his point of pain. How can what you are offering address that point of pain? You can say, oh, you may have spent a lot of money trying one formula or the other, trying one solution or the other, and it seems not to be cutting it for you. You seem not to be getting what you want. Say yes. I'm going to offer you something simple that will not take your time. It will address, you know, the issues at stake. You will not have to, you know, spend so much money doing it. Say, okay, that's interesting. Now, in doing desire, remember that, you know, you play on emotions. Selling is emotion. You play on emotions. Now, somebody has said, futures tell, benefits sell. How is this thing going to solve my problem is what I want to know, not the technical specification. So you position to the person who have carefully packaged a solution that will fit your budget, you know, um, engage your time, uh, address your health challenges through normal organic process, and take into consideration your current lifestyle. Remember, we're using the example of a nutritionist. Then the last A is call to action. Tell them what they need to do. Make an offer to them. Create urgency in the offer. Make it easy for them to act positively. You could, you know, close your statement by saying something like, subscribe today and enjoy a 25% discount. If you are using the online channel, you normally will see this offer ends in five days. This offer ends in 12 hours. Create, you know, an urgency. Make an offer. Let them come to a decision instantly. Otherwise, if you let people go to determine, to decide if they want to buy, you know, people go and then uh, reasoning sets in, other contending priorities come in, and eventually they don't buy. Always close the sale immediately. So uh, 60 seconds to get somebody from knowing what you have to offer to helping them make a decision to patronize you will help you to convert you know, prospects into um, customers, buying or paying customers. I hope you have been able to catch that. We'll be giving you several tips in the course of this program. And each of the tips is, is intended to help you improve or on how you run your businesses. So that is it for the business improvement tips. We'll go on a short break, and then when we are back, we'll take our main section for the day, and that is a teaching. And the teaching is on um, the five proven ways to increase your profit massively. Welcome back. You are still on the SME Clinic, and I still remain your, your host, Coach Alex Baba. Uh, today, we are looking at five proven ways to increase your business profit. Every businessman, you know, wants to make more money. You know, he wants to get more customers. He wants to increase his turnover. Those are the three, you know, issues that, that face every, the average business person. How do, how do I get, how do I increase my customer base? How do I increase my turnover? How do I make more profits? But you see, if you stop at those, they look like a wish list. They look like prayer points. Because they are outcomes, they are results, they are the end products. There are ways that must go, you must go through to be able to get your customers, more customers, to be able to increase your turnover. As your coach, 
I will tell you, you know, as I tell a lot of people, that just stopping there is not going to help you. And that's why for a long time, even though we know what we want, we have not been able to achieve that. You know, so if there are outcomes, if there are results, it means that there are steps that we need to take to reach each of these goals. These five steps have been identified to help us achieve more customers that we want, more turnover, and more profits. Now we will look at a business chassis. It's going to be displayed on your screen uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's a formula too. Remember, business is about mathematics. Now, uh, on your screen, you will, you will see a table there that shows uh, more uh, number of leads times conversion rate equal to customers. Uh, customers times number of transactions times average Naira sale equals to revenue or turnover. The revenue or turnover times profit margin equals to profit. So in that formula, you will discover that before your customer, you have an equal to, before your revenue or turnover, you have an equal to, and then before your profit, you have an equal to. That tells you that there are certain actions that must happen for your cost customer base to increase. There are certain uh, steps that must be taken for your uh, turnover to improve, and there are definitely certain things you need to do for you to make more profit. Now, in this section, we will explain how each of these steps relates to each other, and in subsequent editions, we will take each of these five steps and gives you tips and strategies to make them work. You know, in, um, in our coaching class, we have a, a, over 300 strategies shared across these three steps to help you. So what we'll be doing in, in um, the next couple of editions is to take each of these steps, that's the uh, number of leads, the conversion rates, the number of transactions, the um, um, number of times people buy, and then the, uh, the profit margins. I will tell you how you can apply each of them to your business in a practical step-by-step -step way. Now, before I put in numbers to show you how this works, let me explain each of them. When you say number of leads, you are talking about the prospects, people that know about your business. They have not come to buy um, from you. They have not patronized you yet. And how do you measure your leads? When you have a signboard for your business, everybody that passes and reads your signboard is a prospect, is a lead. When you give out your call cards or you share your flyers or you advertise on radio or television, you know, more people get to know that such business exists. They are not customers because they have not patronized you yet. They are leads. They are possible. They are future customers if you are able to convert them. So an average business might have 1,000 leads, 100,000 leads, 100 leads, depending on the location where your business is and your cycle of influence. But that does not necessarily translate into customers. Then we look at the conversion rate. Conversion rate simply talks about how many people who know about your business you are able to get to patronize your business. So for example, if 1,000 people know about your business, but you only have 100 customers, it means your conversion rate is 100 over 1,000, which is 10%. Now that is fundamental. That shows that I can simply increase my conversion rate without necessarily doing more adverts, and I will increase my customer base. So if I improve my conversion rate to 20%, for instance, it means it will be 20% of 1,000. That doubles my customer base from 100 to 200. You begin to see the interest, you know, in, in these uh, five proven ways now. You say, I want more customers, more customers. How do you get it? Well, from this formula now, we are saying the people that know about your business and what you do to convert them into customers helps you to increase your customer base. So the third, uh, this thing is the number of transactions. That talks about how many times an average customer buys from you. Now, let me make this point clear. Um, it might not be buying multiples of the products that you have that we are talking about here. 
It might be buying an add-on service to what you have. For example, if uh, somebody has a court case and he comes to you as a lawyer, now you are not going to say, okay, this man will come to me three times in a year, except you are praying for him to have you know, court cases all, you know, again and again. So as a lawyer, how do I increase my number of transactions? Yes, he came to me for a court case. I could say, have you done your will? I could help you write a will. That's getting him to increase his number of transactions. You could say, oh, I can help you with legal documentation, MOUs, and, and all of that. So that's how you increase the number of transactions. Then when we talk about, you know, the average sale, your know, sale price, your sale price can be tweaked. Now, as a business coach, I tell my prospects in our training seminars, in our workshops, in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I tell people, I say, see, uh, you, don't, you don't price competitively. You will go into a price war, and you never will win that war. You price based on value. People, people pay you based on perceived value. So if I think what you are giving to me is worth so much, if you ask me to pay that volume, I am not going to argue too much. I would rather beg you for a discount. So if you are going to sell based on value, it means you can tweak your price once you up your value, once you increase your value. Along the line, we are going to be looking at your business niche in one of our editions. And when you look at your niche, you'll be able to create values around your niche. And based on that, you'll be able to price your products or services above your competitors and you will remain competitive and improve on your profit. That is the way to get, get your turnover to increase. Bring the number of customers you have, the number of times they buy, and what they are willing to pay influences your turnover. And then your margin, your profit margin at the end of the day is a function of how you are able to control your overheads, your expenses. Let me give you a simple illustration. I have company A that has a turnover of 1 million naira, but he has an expense of 800,000. It means his margin at the end of the day is 200,000. I have company B that has a turnover of 500,000, but he has um, um, an overhead of 200,000. It means that his margin at the end of the day is 300,000. So this is a big company because they have a 1 million turnover. It's double the size of this company. But this small company makes more profit than the big company. And let me digress by talking to some of us SMEs. Uh, you look at big companies and you think they are doing better than you wish. Oh, if I was as big as this, I'd be able to afford this. No, they may have bigger turnover than, than, than you have. But you may be more profitable than them if you manage your overheads very well. So, my, the increase in my profit is a function of my ability to be able to reduce my overhead, to be able to reduce my turnover. Now, uh, I mean my, my expenses. Now, let's put this in a context, in an arithmetic form. And then, like I told you earlier, we are going to be looking at each of these one by one in the coming week. So, we start from your screen. You can see number of leads. For my example, I have 4,000. And then the conversion rate, I have 25%. So 25% of 4,000 gives me a customer base of 1,000. I hope you understand that so far. Now, if each of these 1,000 customers buy two, pro two times from me in a year or in a month, whatever, a quarter, whatever projection you want to have, and then they spend an average of 100 Naira for each of the purchase, it means my revenue or my turnover will be 200,000. Now, if I spend 75% on my revenue, on my inflow, on expenses, it means that I have a margin of 25%. So 25% of 200,000 is going to give me 50,000 Naira. So I have 1,000 customers because I have 4,000 prospects, and I've been able to convert a quarter of them, and each of them buys twice from me, and then they buy at 100 Naira. My turnover comes to 200,000, and my profit comes to 50,000. Now, how does this chassis help me? Let's assume that I have a 10% increase. I increase my number of leads by 10%. You know, I print more flyers, or I do more adverts on radio or TV, or I give out more of my call cards. 10% on 4,000 will give me 4,000 
400. If I'm able to improve my conversion rate through using the AIDA principle that we discussed you know, earlier, or using any other you know, marketing strategy which we teach in our you know, business school, you apply that and able to improve your conversion rate by just 10%, your customer base grows from 1,000 to 1,210. If you're able to get people to buy, you know, uh, in, 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 in the number of times they buy increases by 10%, you know, that will give you 2.2. You say, oh, what's the point 2 about? There are things that are called upselling, there are things that are called, you know, add-on sale. You go to certain eateries to, to, to buy food, and then at the checkout counter where you are supposed to pay, you see some sauce, you see some specialty, and say, oh, if you buy this, you get so-so so discount. If you buy so-so quantity, you get so, so Those are add-on sales. So you went there to buy chips and chicken. You ended up buying uh, fried yam or one other thing. So that is the point too there. And then you're, you increase your price by 10%. Which gives you 110 naira. Your revenue jumps from 200,000 to 292,820 naira. If you're able to reduce your expense by also 10%, your profit margin jumps to 27.5%, and your profit goes to 80,525 naira from 50,000. Now, if you are good at arithmetic, you would notice that your revenue has increased by 46% and your profit has increased by 61%, just by 10% improvement on all of those ten, um, you know, five factors. And you say, wow, is that really possible in my business? How can I achieve this kind of result? Now, it's just for the sake of illustration that we're using 10% across the board. But it's possible if I even leave my number of leads at, at uh, 4,000 and I improve my conversion rate by 10%, it means I'm going to be getting um, uh, more customers than the 1,000 that I have. So we can apply it in different dynamic ways. When we look at each of the factor one by one, we'll be looking at possibilities in improving. How do I improve my, my number of leads by 10%? I have over 50 strategies I will share with you. How will I increase my conversion rate? I have over 50 strategies I will share with you. How will I get people to come back and buy more than twice in a month? I have several strategies. How do I increase my prices without driving away my customers? I have strategies that will shock you. How will I reduce my overheads? There are strategies for all of that. Now, just for the sake of excitement, the next sheet you see on your screen, if I'm able to increase all of these factors by 100%, how does that come to? 100% of 4,000 uh, 4, uh, leads will give me 8,000 leads. If, for instance, you advertise on TV, which you have never done before, it means that more people get to know about your program. How do I increase, my, if I increase my conversion rate, you know, times two, I get 50%. My customer base jumps from 1,000 to 4,000 instantly. If I'm able to double the number of transactions and get people pounding you know, uh, their feet you know, to my uh, shop front, I'm able to double my, my price, for example, which is possible even though you think it's not. It means that my revenue, my turnover jumps from 200,000 to 3.2 million. My profit margin, if I'm able to half it, my profit jumps from 550,000 to 1.6 million. Now, this scenario is possible if you do all of the, in, implement all of these strategies over a one, two, three years period. So you can actually sit down and say, right now, my turnover is at 200,000, but in three years' time, I want to have a turnover of 3.2 million. My profit margin is 50,000. I want to have, you know, uh, 1.6 million as my profit margin in two years' time. If you follow all of the processes that we are outlining to you, some, you know, you'll be getting on TV because of the shortness of time. We'll be organizing master classes every once in a while. If you follow all of that, these are achievable. I know that for sure because it has um, so many people have implemented it and we have testimonials to share with you. So that's it on our teaching section today. Uh, we are going to be continuing this. Um, by the next edition, we will take the leads 
what, how do we improve on our leads? How do we get quality leads, solid leads that we can convert, convert into you know, customers that will be loyal and that will be raving fans for our businesses? We'll be handling that by next week. And subsequently, we'll be looking at the other factors. I hope you have learned something critical today. Our um, social media handles are still on your screen. You can follow us, you know, 247, and we'll be there to answer your questions and to add value to your business as it is. My name is Alexandra Ojane Baba. I'm the CEO of Ojet Institute. I'm a junior. That is it for today's edition. I hope you got some useful tips and tools and info to add value to your entrepreneurial activities. Um, as I said before, you can follow us on our social media handle. We broadcast, some of these broadcasts will be on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel. You can watch in case you missed any edition and you can leave us um, some questions or observations of what, what you have in mind that will help us and add value to the program. Join me again next week as we continue with more exciting programs. Stay safe.